We've done a lot of work in diseases like Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. So just to remind people what that is, um, it's a kind of low-grade lymphoma which has a very high serum IgM level and often patients present with not only bone marrow involvement but also hyperviscosity because of the high serum levels. So one of the things that's important is to understand what's happening in the tumor so that uh, we can maybe modulate the actual tumor cell to decrease the protein and decrease the growth of the cells. A lot of work has been done on the genetics in the coding regions, so particularly um, MID88 is an adapter protein that is mutated in more than 90% of patients, and that's a characteristic of the disease. A different uh, the gene, CXCR4, is very often used as a way to tell whether patients are going to um, uh, do well or do less well with therapies such as abrutinib. But now we're spending a lot more time understanding the other areas because the other areas in the genome may actually regulate some of these genes that might not be mutated. So the object of this study was to comprehensively look at all of these other regulatory parts of the genome to tell whether or not that's going to have an impact on the, uh, on the growth and survival of the tumor cell. That's really still a study that's in its infancy where we've been able to identify some long known coding RNAs that are important, but we need a validation set to say that's true across the board so that we can know if that's something that's actionable.